very few people realize that we have the, the uh, benefit of one of the largest energy storage systems in North America right here in, in Michigan, just about five miles south of Ludington, the Ludington Pump Storage Facility. It was built in the 70s, early 70s. In 1959, Consumers Energy and Detroit Edison began designing the hydroelectric plant. A decade later, work started. And we went commercial operation in 1973. It was the largest of its kind when it opened, winning national engineering awards. Now it's the fourth largest in the world. In fact, it's a massive man-made reservoir, fueling one of the largest hydroelectric plants in the world, co-owned by the two largest energy companies in the state, DTE and Consumers. That allows us to provide power to about 1.7 million customers at full capacity. For scale, that's essentially the entire greater Grand Rapids area, producing up to 2,200 megawatts. To put it in perspective, a single megawatt is capable of, of powering you know, your typical size Meyer store. This facility is essentially one of the world's largest batteries. The concept of pumping water from Lake Michigan up into an elevated pond at times, off peak times, when power is, is cheaper and maybe more abundant on the supply side, allows us to basically store energy and then we can generate it as we allow that water to fall down back into Lake Michigan, um, sometimes as soon as that, that day. And it's basically you're moving energy from one low cost, high abundant period to a higher cost, more scarce period, and it works very well. Energy needs are changing, as are the sources. Coal and gas are being replaced by wind and solar, but thanks to an $800 million renovation being completed soon, the Ludington Pump Storage Facility will be here, powering along quietly for at least the next 50 years. Even though the power mix has changed, the pump storage support of those mixes has really been uh, consistent throughout the years and will continue to be true going forward.